All right, guys. Uh, what I wanted to do really quickly was show you the benefits of uh, of a RAID array. In case you guys have questions about RAID or how it works, uh, RAID is actually um, a, an abbreviation for redundant array of inexpensive disks. Um, and in case you've never used a RAID array, uh, you don't know what you're missing. Um, RAID array can be used for a lot of things like performance. It can be used for uh, data security, making sure that you've got a backup drive in case one of the drives in your RAID array fails. Uh, a lot of enterprises use it for speed and also uh, to make sure that uh, data is consistent in case of a drive failure there's always one to back it up. Uh, there's several different types of RAID. Um, the one I'm going to be showing you today is uh, RAID 0 and it's actually going to be uh, being done on an ASUS P6T Deluxe uh, version 1 motherboard. Uh, with four Samsung hard drives, 250 gigabyte hard drives, in RAID 0. Uh, this uh, totals 1,000.2 gigabytes uh, according to HD Talk. I'm using HD Talk uh, version 3.040. Uh, yes, this uh, software does have to be run if you're going to be using it on a 64 bit operating system like Windows Vista. Uh, it does have to be run in a Windows compatibility mode. Um, so you'll have to select that when you do go to run it. Uh, I'm going to be doing the long bench version, 32 megabyte zones. Um, so uh, what I'm going to do here is just go ahead and show you guys. And um, I'm going to go ahead and run the test right now. It'll take just a couple of seconds. It's going through the burst test now. And burst test is a test uh, to see what the maximum throughput is in short intervals. Uh, what the maximum throughput could be uh, as far as data in megabits per second. Now the CPU test is uh, being tested and it's actually going to be checking to see what the CPU's utilization is during standard data throughput. This is a random access test now running um, and this is actually testing to see uh, basically when you're, um, what your most consistent uh, access is in milliseconds and then we're doing a sequential read test and this is the one that takes the longest because it actually has to um, read data from across the entire hard drive since I'm using uh, a very large array here um, it's just basically going to be taking just a couple of seconds longer uh, and then you guys will get the test results here again we're talking about um, HD talk uh, some people use HD tune uh, to test um, I like talk better uh, it just works simpler and faster for me um, and again, it's also free. You can download HD Talk from MajorGeeks.com or any uh, website that offers a lot of uh, free software, free downloads. Right, we're almost done here with the sequential read test. And once this is done, it's going to pop up with a, uh, a nice graph showing us the results of our test, of our throughput test here. And we're just about done. Okay. Now as you can see here, I am pretty much almost always above the 140 megabyte per second run. You can see here my average read is 149.5 megabits per second, random access 14.9 milliseconds, and CPU utilization 1%. Also you can see here, 374.3 megabytes per second is my burst speed. Okay, that's with four hard drives in RAID 0, 250 gigabyte Samsungs, four of those in RAID 0. Okay, it also gives you a comparison graph here. So you can see where Ultra uh, DMA6 ATA was less than 150 megabytes per second. Then SATA 150 is at 150. SCSI Ultra 320 is, of course, at 320 megabits per second. And then you've got mine, which is 374.3 megabytes per second. So, with these four drives combined in RAID 0, I was able to surpass even SCSI Ultra 320 rated speeds. Alright, and in case you guys don't know, SCSI Ultra 320 um, is actually like an enterprise technology for, uh, and actually SCSI transfer is basically um, a little bit of an older technology now as opposed to SATA 2. Um, but, you can see that SCSI Ultra 320 was actually considered a very fast technology back in the day. Uh, and now um, I far surpass that in megabits per second as far as burst speed is concerned. Again, you're talking about an average read of 149.5 megabytes per second. 
So if you guys want to compare uh, this RAID array, this RAID array cost me about $200 for these four drives. Um, one Velociraptor um, is $240 right now on Newegg and uh, doesn't even come close to these numbers, not even close, uh, and costs $40 more for a single drive. So uh, I believe its average read throughput is about 79 to 80 megabytes per second, and its burst speed is about 220, uh, as opposed to burst speed 374.3 and 149.5 megabytes per second. All right, so uh, take that into consideration next time you're thinking about building a system and uh, you want really, really fast file system speed and really fast access and load times. Um, you really want to go with a RAID array uh, for really great performance. Hope you guys enjoy this video. Talk to you later.